Hi friends, welcome. My name is Bongani and today I'm going to be teaching you about tens and units. Now, what tens and units are, are place values. Don't worry, it's not hard. I will show you how to do it. So, let's start with units. What units are, are numbers that go by themselves, like zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oopsie, nine, and that's it. So all of these are numbers that go by themselves, or you can say numbers that stand by themselves. They don't have a number before it or after it. And tens are numbers that stand in twos. I'll show you right now. Tens. There you go. So, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine are units because they stand by themselves. And then tens are what come after, like 10. 10 doesn't stand by itself. There's one and there's zero. So it's a 10. Then you have 11, which also doesn't stand by itself, so it's a 10. You have 12, you have 13, you have 14, you have 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And all the other numbers that come after 20. So, units are numbers that stand by themselves. And then tens are numbers that are always in twos. They stand in two. They have a friend. Like with 10, there's 1 and there's 0. And with 11, there's 1, there's 1. With 12, there's 1, there's 2. And with 13, there's one and three, and so on and so on. Also with the other numbers. Now, I'm gonna show you how to break them apart. If you have a number that's a 10, I'm gonna show you how to break them up into a 10 and a unit. Now friends, let me show you how to break up a number into a 10 and a unit because your teacher is going to ask you to do that. They're going to give you a number that's a 10 and they're going to ask you to break it up into two. So let's begin. Let's say I have the number 15. So 15 is a 10 because there's two numbers. But your teacher is going to ask you how many 10s are in 15. So how you do that is you break the number into two, like this. In the middle, you cut it. On this side, you have one and one is the 10. So there's one 10 in 15. Then your teacher is going to ask you 
how many units are in 15. Then you can see over here, it's five. So there are five units in 15. That was easy, right? Let's try another one. Let me erase this and we'll try another example. Let me make my line clearer. Okay. Help me think of another number. Hmm. How about 12? 12. So again, 12 is a 10. But how many 10s are in 12? You just have to break them apart and take the first number and put it under the 10 column. So there's one 10 in 12. And how many units are in 12? That's the second number, two. So there are two units in 12. Now, let me show you another way of thinking about it so you understand better. What is 10 plus 5? 10 plus 5 is equal to 15. Yay! So, 15 has 1 10 and 5 units. So we are right. Now, let's see 12. So how many 10s does 12 have? We said 1 10. So, let me push this up. 12 has 1 10. And how many units? We said 2. So let's see if we're right. 2. And how much is 10 plus 2? Yes, 10 plus 2 is 12. And look, we were right. 12 has 1 10 and 2 units. 12. So that is also right. Well done, friends. Now we'll try another exercise. All right, friends, let's try another exercise. Now in this one, what we have is three shapes. First of all, we have to count how many shapes there are and then figure out how many tens or units we have. Now let's start with the first one. We have red circles. Now firstly, let's count how many circles there are. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 circles. So let's write the number over there. 14. Well done. Now let's see how many tens or units are in 14. So like I told you, when there's two numbers, you have a 10. And what you have to do is break the number up, separate it and then take the first number and put it in the first column. So one comes down here. So we have one 10. Then you take your four and bring it into the second column. Four. So 14 has one 10 and four units. Then you come over here to your answer and you fill it in. So there's one 10 and four units. Well done. Now let's try the second one. We have triangles. 
Let's count them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten triangles. So you write down the number ten. And then you come into your columns. You take the first number, which is one, and you write it down over there. And the second number is zero. And you take your zero and you write it in the units column. So how many tens are there in 10? One 10. And how many units are there in 10? Zero units. So you come to the question over here and you write your one and zero. Well done. Now let's move on to our last question. All right, friends. Now let's count how many squares we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine squares. So you write down nine. And then we come into our tens and units column. So, do you remember what I said about single numbers? Numbers that stand alone? Yes, those numbers are just units. So, we have zero tens because there's no tens. So, we write zero. And then you come down to your units column and you write nine because any number that stands by itself is just a unit. So nine is just a unit and it has no tens. So you write zero. Then you come over to your answer sheet and you write zero tens and nine units. There you go. That was difficult. I hope you learned a lot. I'll see you again next time. Bye.